Welcome to this video tutorial. This will cover the datum of a star probe. This star probe is not a fixed star. This uses a star center. And you can see this from the, the diagram we have here. We have a star center, also an extension, which moves the trigger point further away from the module, which is always a good idea. Uh, we have a Z minus offset. We also have an offset in the XY direction. Okay, first we're gonna to go to the probe calibration page. And we're just gonna look at probe components. And we're gonna find star center. This should be in your lists already, but this just shows you how it's, how it's made. This information button here shows you the dimensions. These are already entered, so no need to worry. Okay, so we're gonna add an offset. Build your probe as normal. Choosing your A and B angles. We're going to use a standard force, although a medium force might be a better option if the probe's too heavy. We'll choose a 20 mm extension, start as center, and then we choose a direction. So for this one, we're going to choose a Z minus, and then choose a stylus. We already have one in the list. I'm going to add this. This now adds to the list, but it keeps the window open. So now I'm going to click on Z minus and it will change the direction. So I just need to add the stylus for the different direction. So now I have my two probe offsets. I'm going to make sure one of them is current if it's in the probe head. So the blue indicates it's current. I'm just going to do a shift and highlight and datum both probes. Okay, so now we have two datum probes. The green is your current probe. And we can alternate between the two offsets by clicking on this icon. I'll just make Z minus the current probe and we're ready to go.